Hi everybody and welcome back. It's been a couple of weeks since I filmed a whip update. My last video I actually did a parade of framed finishes, like half my life's worth of stitching with the exception of a few little pieces that um, I've given away as, as gifts for people. But a majority of the big ones I have with me and I was able to show you. So if you haven't already, go back and watch the last video. And for this one, it'll just be a whip update. So I've been working on four of my whips for the past couple of weeks. And the first one and the one that got the most attention was Treasure Hunt Bookshelf. So um, let me show you what this should look like when it's done. The artwork is by Amy Stewart. Of course, it's a heaven and earth design. This is what it looked like last time you saw it. And this is what it looks like now. So I have um, finished a fourth page right here. And <laughs> one word describes the page, um, confetti for the most part. Now I did this dark blue was fairly easy to stitch and this pink book was kind of the same configuration of um, color sort of all the way down. But then this book right here was very, um, you'll see, had lots of different colors and lots of different little sections. And then this area down here was um, a little annoying, but all worth it in the end, I assure you. So um, last time I got into a little trouble with my parked threads and I <laughs> I had too many of them and I had to end up just putting each thread on a on a needle, stitching until it was done and then kind of ending it and, and getting rid of all my parked threads. And um, you'll notice that I did not park any down here and I only did like one or two right here. Um, the rest of them I was like, forget it. I'm not <laughs> taking the time to find, you know, this page down here in the pattern over and over again to try to like find where the next stitch is and mark it as parked and go back to the original page. Like, no, thank you. Um, so anyway, I was really happy to get a fourth page done. Of course, my plans are, um, well, it's been a little bit since I've worked on this because I finished my page and I said, break, I need a break, like immediately right now, I need a break. <laughs> And, but I'm going to pick it up again probably tonight and I will work on this page right here. And so it'll be the end of the tree, it'll be a couple of more books, and hopefully maybe a little bit less confetti. Um, I don't know if some of these will continue on to the next page or not. And by the next update, maybe I'll have another page finished. I don't know. We'll see. It's always the, the time gods and balancing you know, toddler parenting and work and life stuff and everything. But anyway, I was really happy to make some good progress on this. So the next piece that I worked on, and really what I did out of the four is I took like the first week to concentrate on two of my pieces and um, a full coverage and a non-full coverage. So I was kind of trading off back and forth. And for all of my pieces, I had like a definite goal. Like by the time, you know, about two weeks is up and I do another whip update, I wanted to meet certain goals. So for the treasure hunt bookshelf, I wanted to finish that page. Um, the non uh, full coverage piece that I worked on was my Egypt garden by Chatelaine. And I actually have to kind of put this on the frame again because I'm having tension problems. This is what it will look like when it's done. This is what it looked like last time you saw it. And this is what it looks like now. So my goal for the center of it is to, it was to finish the fish that are swimming around this center part of the pond or right here. So I was able to get all of the colors in and big fish, little fish, everything, and just done. And they look really nice, but they are, um, it is over one. And the piece is a mixture of, um, it's 28 count Mesa colored linen. And the piece is a mixture of one over one, two over two, beads, cranic, and specialty. So it's kind of like everything. Um, and it keeps me on my toes, I will tell you. And I have to, I find I have to kind of like 
rev myself up to work on this and then once I've started working on it then it's great and I love it but sometimes to pick it up I'm like eh. <laughs> maybe not but um so my next goal for this is to stitch there so there's like a navy uh, box of stitches around and then there's cranic a little bit on the inside and then a lot of beads so by the time I have my next update I'm hoping to have all of that stitched so then then I can actually start moving to beyond um, beyond the fish pond so that was kind of week one and week two I again have a full coverage and a non full coverage piece that I'm working on and my last new start was a story keep by heaven and earth designs that was um, based on a still photo from season one of Outlander love <laughs> and it's called the wedding kiss so let me show you what it should look like when it's done and this is what it looked like last time you saw it And this is what it looks like now. Let's see if I can get good light on it. It's very dark. Oh, that's a little bit better. So I finished, um, this is kind of like confetti-ish stitching up here. I finished all of that. And then down here what I've done is it's only like three colors of dark brown, including one of the new colors, color number, it's DMC9, which is I think called Coco. It's a really, really pretty as far as a brown goes. I really like it. And what I've done with this is I've done, I'll do the three um, shades of brown and just kind of count those and get those out. And then everything else is black. It's 310. So when I pick this up to stitch, I don't even have to really look at a pattern. I know everything but the black is done and I can just go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And so this was kind of nice, um, you know, to work on. For the next whip update, I'm hoping to get the page done. So it shouldn't be too hard. I just need time to do the stitches. And um, oh, this is 32 count linen and it's stitch one over one full cross. So here is the non full coverage piece that I was working on. Um, just even last night I was working on it. And this is called Lady Hera by Mirabilia. And this is the picture of what it should look like when it's done. Let me show you what it looked like last time you saw it. And this is what it looks like now. So last time I had finished, done basically all of the peacock that you see here. And over the past week I have focused on, I added more of the yellow dress, I finished ribbons, I did all of these flowers and these ribbons and flowers and this part of the orange dress. And that was pretty much my goal. So I met it at like 1.30 this morning <laughs> to try to get it done. Um, it's really beautiful. I've loved the variety of stitching on it. Um, I still have quite a ways to go with it. And I think my goal for next time, I don't, I don't know what my goal is going to be, but the next area I work on the, the peacock being done like this is kind of bothering me so I think I'm going to work on the body of the peacock at least and maybe some of this um, kind of architectural you know design here to try to carry this down a little bit and then if I have any more time I might go back and do more of the dress because that's kind of easy fill-in work so that is Lady Hera Thanks everybody for joining me for this whip update. Um, I'll be back in 10 to 14 days, something like that with another one. I'm hoping to have a lot of stitching done and I hope you guys get a lot of stitching done too. So thanks for watching. Bye.